एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक हाउ कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज अ गेम चेंजर इन केस ऑफ आर सी टी इन केसेज ऑफ पैरियापाइकल चेंजेस इन तुट इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस टू मेक द कैनाल इन्फेक्शन फ्री इन सच केसेज वी आर यूजिंग कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एम टी ए ड्रेसिंग ऑल दीज आर वेरी यूजफुल इन केसेज ऑफ पैरियापाइकल चेंजेस इन तुट Okay then let's begin the video and try to understand what calcium uh, calcium hydroxide actually does when we inject it into a tooth canal so when we inject calcium hydroxide it comes in contact with aqueous solution when it comes in contact with aqueous solution it dissociate into calcium and hydroxyl ion on contact with aqueous solution it dissociate but it has low solubility in water because it has a larger molecular weight this property of calcium hydroxide is very important as it has a larger molecular weight and low solubility make it to stay for a longer period in a canal and release gradually what calcium and hydroxyl ion actually does calcium uh, ions are responsible for highly alkaline nature of calcium hydroxide so what alkaline nature does it acts on cytoplasmic membrane proteins and dna of microorganism or bacteria and degrade it as we all know most of the pathogens are unable to survive in highly alkaline medium and then bacteria in the infected canal are eliminated when it comes in contact with calcium hydroxide because of alkaline nature of hydroxyl ion I hope now it is easy for you to understand how calcium hydroxide act. Now try to understand in summary form. So on contact with aqueous solution it is dissociate into calcium ion and hydroxyl ion. What calcium ion does it reduce the le level of inhibitory pyrophosphatase because pyrophosphatase enzyme is very much important for osteoblastic activity. So inhibitory pyrophosphatase enzymes are reduced by calcium hydroxide and pyrophosphatase enzymes are level increased by calcium hydroxide so that it will result in mineralization by increasing osteoblastic activity how hydroxyl ion help calcium hydroxide it neutralize the acid by its alkaline nature whatever bacterial acid are present in the canal it neutralize it by its alkaline nature and then provide optimum ph for pyrophosphatase to act and then it will result in increase the level of calcium hydroxide uh, dependent pyrophosphatase enzyme and result in uncontrolled mineralization so what calcium does it increase osteoblastic activity and what hydroxyl ion does it de uh, decrease acidic nature and increase alkaline nature so that bacteria will not survive I hope now it is very well clear how calcium hydroxide is a game changer in RCT and how it acts in cases of periapical changes in a tooth. So if you want uh, more such type of videos do comment in comment section.